Hello, dear students, and welcome back to mathematics class for class 6. We will <coughs> continue with chapter 10, mensuration. Now, we have learned about the, the different concepts for perimeter and area, so we will put it into practice by solving some problems in exercise 10.1, page number 212 of your textbook. So, let's look at the first question. The first question is, find the perimeter of each of the following figures. Now, let's look at the first figure, A. We have been given a figure in this manner. Now, they have given us this as 2 cm, 1 cm, 5 cm, 4 cm. <coughs> now, they have asked us to find the perimeter. Uh, perimeter simply means the total boundary, okay? We have already learned about perimeter. Now, this figure, we cannot, we do not have any specific name for this. So, what we will do is, we will simply add up all the sides, okay? We will start from here, 4 centimeter plus 2 centimeter plus 1 centimeter, this one, and then finally plus 5 centimeter all right so when you add them together you get 4 plus 2 6 7 12 so you have 12 centimeter okay so this is how you will find uh, perimeter for unknown uh, uh, sorry unknown shapes all right let's look at another example let's look at the uh, question number B. We have been given another shape in this manner. So 23 centimeter, 35 centimeter, 40 centimeter, and this also is also 35 centimeter. So perimeter is equal to add all the sides. 35 centimeter plus 23 centimeter plus again 35 centimeter and plus 40 centimeter. So when you add them, 35, 23, 8, 5, this 2 plus this one again, you get 3, 3, 1, 9. So 93 plus 43, you get 133 centimeter. So, this is how you will find the perimeter for different shapes. All right, children. Now, let's move on to the next question. The other questions are also the same. You simply have to add all the sides. So, there's no question about it. Just be careful while you add the different uh, questions, uh, different sides, sorry. Let's look at question number two. I will read the question for all of us. The lead of, the lead of a rectangular box of sides 40 cm by 10 cm is sealed all around with tape. Okay, let's say that this is the lead of a box and it is sealed with a tape. What is the length of the tape required? Now, it is a rectangle. So, this side is 40 centimeter. 10 centimeter. Since it is a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. This will be 40 centimeter. This will be 10 centimeter. Now, they have given us the length. L is 40 centimeter and breadth is 10 centimeter. This is given. Now, to roll the tap, to roll the tap around it, from here, go all the way around and come back here to seal it, you're going to need to find the perimeter, okay? So when you find the perimeter, you'll find the total length of the tap that you used, all right? Therefore, perimeter of rectangle is equal to twice of, we know the formula, twice of L plus B. Now, 2 into 
I can write like this. Length is 40, breadth is 10. So, 2 into 40 plus 10 is 50. When you multiply this, you get 100. So, your <clears throat> total length of the tap should be 100 centimeter for it to seal the or seal all the parts of the lid. Okay, children. So this is question number two. Let's move on to the next question. Let's look at <clears throat> question number three. It's almost similar. The, there's a slight change here though. Let's read the question. A table top measures two meter, 25 centimeter. Two units are given here. One is meter, one is centimeter. All right. So they have given us length of table top. The length is given 2 meter 25 centimeter. Two different units here. Meter, centimeter. Now you have to change this to either meter or centimeter. So I will change this to meter. So to change this to meter, I will write in this manner. 2.25 meter. 2.25 meter. All right, children. This is how we have converted. The next part is the breadth breadth of table top is equal to 1 meter 50 centimeter now in the same way 1.50 meter all right so this is being converted in this manner 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so if you want to convert uh, 25, uh, sorry, we can write 25 centimeter to meter. To change to meter, you have to divide by 100, all right? And then it will become meter. Now, if you divide 25 by 100, you will count the places like this. One, two, because two zeros, we will count two places and put a point. 1, 2, and then point. If I write 25 here, 2, 0, so 1, 2, and point. Okay, so the point comes here. And when you add this 0.25 plus 2, you add like this, 2.00 and 0.25. When you add it, you get 2.25. Though in the same way, 1.50 is also achieved. Okay, children? So we have... All the length and breadth, so perimeter is equal to 2 into length plus breadth. So 2 into length, we already have 2.25 plus breadth, 1.50. When you add this 2.25 and 1.50, you get 5, 7, 3 and this 2 point will come here so you get 3.75 sorry this is 2 All right 2 into 3.75 when you multiply it you will get 7.5 meter into 2 2 into 5 10 2 7 14 15 1 9 6 all right so this is how you will find the parameter when two different units are given all right the next question will be question number five. A rectangular piece of land measures 0 0.7 kilometers by 0 0.5 kilometers. 0 0.7, 0 0.5. So it looks something like this. Let's say this is 0 0.7 and 0 0.5. <clears throat> Each side is to be fenced with four rows of wires. What is the length of the wire needed? Now, if this is one side, they are going to put a fencing in this manner. Four rows of wire. These are wires. One, two, three, four. So to put fencing around the whole space, they want to know, they want us to find out the length of the wire that we need. Okay? So first we will find the perimeter of the field. Perimeter of the field. 
is equal to 2 into length and breadth. Now, already length is given 2 into 0 0.7 plus 0 0.5 breadth. When you add this, you get 1.2. When you multiply this, you get 2.4 kilometers. So, the total parameter is going around once is 2.4 kilometer. Okay, so therefore, each side is to be fenced with four rows of wire. Now, each side is to be fenced four row, with four rows of wire, that means this 2.4 will be going around four times, right? One, two, three, four, four times. So, I will multiply this into four. All right? So, this will give you 2.4 into four. Four into four is 16. One and then four into two, eight, nine. One's point, one's point, all right? So, you will require 9.6 kilometer of wire to run the fencing around this four times, okay? So, with that, question number five is completed. Let's look at another question. Uh, we may not be able to solve all the questions during these videos, but we will try to solve different kind of types of questions that are given in the textbook. So let's look at question number seven. Find the perimeter of a triangle with sides measuring. Okay, a triangle is given. All right, one side is given as 10 centimeter. One side is given as 14 centimeter. One side is given as 15 centimeter. You can put the values anywhere. It's not mentioned, okay? I'm just putting it randomly. Now, a triangle is given all different sides and we have to find the total boundary. So, it's very simple. Perimeter of triangle is equal to add all of them. 10 plus 14 plus 15. Now, when you add all of them, you get 24 plus 15, 39. So, 39 centimeter. That means this plus this plus this will give you 39 centimeter. So for different sides of a triangle, there is no formula. Simply add all of them. All right. So when you add all the three sides, you get whatever you get, that is your perimeter. All right, children. So it's quite simple. You simply have to practice more so to understand better. And your addition, you should practice your addition also. Now, let's look at question number nine. Find the side of the square whose perimeter is 20 meter. We have already discussed this type of questions in the concept part, but let's do this. The given information here is perimeter of square is given. It is given as 20 meter. Now, we have to find the side, all right? For example, this is a square. The whole distance is 20 meter. We have to find this. If we find one side, we know all the sides of a square, right? So, we will write again, perimeter of square. Its formula is 4 into S, right? And perimeter is given as 24 into S. Now, this 20 will remain as it is. Multiply 4 will come to the other side. When it comes to the other side, it becomes divide. 4 into 1, 4 into 5. Therefore, S is equal to 5 meter. Since this is in meter, we will write this in meter. Therefore, side of square is equal to 5 meter meter. Alright children, so this is all about 
uh, finding uh, the side of a given parameter. All right, similar question. Uh, <clears throat> here, find the cost of fencing a square park of 250 meter at the rate of rupees 20 per meter. This is the square park. The total parameter first we have to find because one side is given. If one side is 250, all of them will be 250, all right? So first find the parameter, then we will proceed. Now side is given, so we will directly find the perimeter. Perimeter of square. We know the formula 4 into S. Now this S is nothing but 250. So 4 into 250 meter. When you multiply this, you get 4, 0, 4, 5, 20, 4, 2. We are getting 1000 meter. Now to put a fencing, to put a fencing around all this, to put a wall or fence around this square, one square meter costs, one meter costs 20 rupees. Therefore, cost of fencing at the amount is given rupees 20 per meter. So to put a fencing around this 1000, the total length is 1000, this 1000 length, one meter costs rupees 20. Therefore, you multiply 20 into 1000. You get 20,000. So the total cost will be rupees 20,000 for putting the fence around this square. All right, children. So basically, uh, the rest, rest of the questions in this exercise is almost the same. If you look at question number 16, I'll just give you a hint. 16 is given. Question A, 25, 25, 25. All of them are 25. Question number 16, okay? So a square is given. So this square you can find with the help of this formula for S. If a rectangle is given, use the formula of rectangle. If a triangle is given, but all the sides are different. For question number 16D, all the sides are different. So simply add all the sides. So any figure, if you forget the formula also, you can directly add the, all the sides and you will get the perimeter, okay? So it's quite simple. Perimeter, simply understand that it's the addition of all the sides. All right, children? So with that, we come to the end of perimeter exercise 10.1. I'll see you again very soon in the next uh, class. So till then, please stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.